5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits. Is their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. If you remember a couple of videos back, I mentioned what kind of cells the T killer cells actually target. I mentioned they target bacteria. So it's bacteria here, they can target those. They can target your viruses. They can target your protozoa. They can target your fungi. They can target your organ transplant cells. So your organ transplanted organs. Uh, transplanted organs. Organ transplanted organs. Uh, organ transplants. The cells were from those organs. And they can also target cancer cells. So those are the things that the actual T killer cells can target. And they would, when they target, what they do, obviously they produce these chemicals, which will then destroy the actual cell. So in this case, if they find the matching antigen, they will attack and kill. And that would be the case if it were fungi, protozoa, and virus. Make sure, I'm not trying to confuse you, T killer cells, they're all specific for one different type of antigen, right? So for example, if this T killer cell were targeting a the plasmodium protozoa, the plasmodium, which is the one that causes malaria, malaria, if this T killer cell targets only this plasmodium protozoa, it will only kill the protozoa, it won't kill different types of fungi, it will only kill this one specific type of protozoa. So each T killer cell will target a different type of pathogen, very specific type of pathogen, but overall, the T killer cell can, can all, in general, target these different types. Right? These are the general things that they can target, and in, includes your organ transplants, or your cells from organs that are being transplanted. And the reason why I mention this is because the dot point itself says, outline the reasons for the suppression of the immune response in organ transplant patients. So if we talk about why we decrease so suppression means sort of tone down or decrease. I would try to decrease the immune response when it comes to organ transplant patients. And what you should keep in mind, now I'll, I'll tie it all in, but you should keep in mind that T killer cells can target organ cells from organs that have been transplanted. So you keep that in mind. So the reason why we have to suppress the immune system is because if these are the different types of cells, there's T killer cells, your B cells, and your macrophages, and then there were three more T cells, which aren't that important for this video. There would have been the helper cell, the suppression cell, and the memory cell. Those are the other three T cells. But if we, for example, have our organ tissue, let's say this is in the cell that comes from our transplanted organ that we put into another person. This is our organ transplant. then it would have, let's say it comes from, because it comes from a foreign body, right? It has an antigen. Let's say it has this kind of antigen. And you might expect your B cells to target the actual organ transplant cell, but B cells don't. B cells only target sort of your viruses and your bacteria. They don't actually target your organ transplants. So we don't have to worry too much about the B cells. They're not a big of a, too big of a worry for us when it comes to organ transplants. And the macrophages, they can target the organ transplants, I think, but overall, overall, they're not a massive issue. The one, they aren't the ones which cause problems, the major problem when it comes to our rejection, the rejection of organs. The ones that do are these T killer cells. So these T killer cells, when they find a matching antigen, which could come from an organ transplanted tissue, if they find that matching tissue, cell which has these different antigens, then they could actually produce a chemical and destroy it. So this is the one we have to worry about when it comes to the threat of organ rejection. Right? So the idea of organ rejection, or the transplanted organ rejection, is that your body will attack its own tissue, or the tissue, not its own tissue, but the tissue that we've transplanted from a different person. So this organ transplant cell would come from, obviously, a different person. So it would be considered to be non-self. And specifically, the ones that hunt that down, the ones that don't like it in our body, are the T killer cells. So what do we do? Well, we can use a drug. And this drug is often used cyclosporin. This is a drug. And what this drug does, 
it targets actually T killer cells and targets T cells in general. So what it, this does is basically deactivates this. So it deactivates your T killer cells. And that means you're not going to have the, or the, the threat of organ rejection has gone down because we don't have these T killer cells, which would otherwise hunt for our organ transplants or our cells, our tissue from these organs that we've been transplanted. Right? So we're going to have lots of cells which make up tissue. And theoretically, these T killer cells could come in and kill them all. But if we deactivate them, then we have less threat of that happening. So that's one way we can make sure that the chance of organ rejection is reduced. But the problem, the problem that arises is that we have to deactivate the T killer cells. And often we also, at the same time, activate the other T cells. Which means whilst we don't activate, if we use this drug, we don't activate our complete immune response because we still have the B cells. And we still have the phagocytosic macrophages, for example, which are the non-specific part of our immune system and, and we have the B cells still. So that means we still have some immunity, some immune response capability. But overall, we have less than if we also had our T cells. So that's something that we often take as a, a precaution. We deactivate our T killer cells and many of our other T cells to make sure that our organs won't get attacked. Our tissue, which has been transplanted, won't be getting attacked from these T killer cells. But that does leave us at a greater risk of infection. So it does give us at a greater risk of infection. But we still have some immune system left because we still have these other cells left. That's the problem. We have a greater risk of infection. So we can take these drugs, which in many cases people will have to take when they have organ transplants. But we also make sure that obviously the organ that we're donating, so the donor organ, so donor organ, matches as closely as possible. Matches as closely as possible, which is why often you will be on the waiting list for an organ for quite some time because they're trying to find you a organ which ma matches your your molecules, so these molecules, only the self detection molecules, as closely as possible. Because if they give you a completely foreign one, then it's going to be increasing the threat of rejection. So if they have one which is as close as possible, then that's minimize even further. But yeah, the, the reason why we suppress the immune system, so got to talk about, about that dot point again, outline the reasons for the suppression of the immune system. To reduce, in this case, if we use the cyclosporin as a drug, we will use that to reduce our immune response, specifically our T cell sort of immune response, all the different T cells, because it, what that does, it makes sure that our actual organ tissue won't be attacked by the T killer cells, which means we have a decreased sort of threat of organ rejection, and that's obviously that's overall good, but the only side effect is that we have a greater risk of, an, of infection in general, because these, because obviously we have no more T killer cells, which do have a specific role in our body. And overall, one thing we can still do is make sure we look for an organ which matches our sort of self-detection molecules as closely as possible, which might mean that some of our white blood cells won't consider them a threat. But overall, the B cells and macrophages aren't the biggest problem because they aren't, they don't usually target organ transplanted tissue, but the T killer cells do. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.